And hello, everybody. Welcome to Robert's English Classroom, where you can improve your English vocabulary and English conversation. So this lesson is how to tell the difference between when, during, while, as, and just as. Five things, okay? This idea was also given to me by a student online, and I thought it is a bit uh, difficult to know when to use these words and when not because they all talk about time, okay? So let's get started with the first one here, which is when, okay? Our first word is when. Now, when, when do we use when, okay? Well, a specific time when something happens. So something is happening at a time and we can use the past, present, and future tense. So I think when is probably the easiest one to use um, of these five. So let's give some examples. First, when I finish my work, I'll go for a walk. So well, let's look at a specific time when something happens. So what is that time? It's when I finish the work. So when I finish the work at that time, I go for a walk. When the sun shines, the birds sing. So the sun shines at that time, boom, the birds sing. Okay, this is how we use when. Now let's look at some more examples. When I'm feeling stressed, I will listen to music. So here we can use the future tense. So when I feel stressed, I don't feel good. At that time, I listen to music. Now here's a past tense example. When I was young, I played video games every day. So at that time before, I played video games every day. When you love someone, set them free. Have you heard this one before? This is a, a common uh, saying. When you love someone, set them free. So you don't want to control them or keep them somewhere. Let them be free if you really love them. So again, when you love someone is the time you are loving someone and then you can set them free. Now let's move to while. Okay. While is a little bit different. And there are three times that we use while. So you need to learn the A, B, C here. I wrote them A, B, C uh, these times. So first, we use while when something happens at the same time as another action. So something's happening here and then something's happening here at the same time. That's the first uh, way we use it. Now, B is to show an action cannot start until another action is finished. So we can't do this here until this is done. Okay. And the third one, C, is to show an action that can't happen because of another. So this cannot happen because of this. So let's look at some examples. I have examples for each one. So let's look at the A example. So A is it happens at the same time as another action, okay? While I waited for the bus, I read a book, okay? So what are the two actions? Waited for the bus, read a book, okay? That's the A, that's the A definition. Now B is to show an action can't start until another action is finished. So while you drive the car, Call, call your mom. So you don't call your mom until you drive the car. So calling your mom cannot start until you drive the car. So we put while you drive, you call. Not before and not after. While you drive. And C, to show an action can't happen because of another. So while he is in class, he can't text his friends. So he's in class, so you can't do something else, okay? These are the three definitions of while. Now let's look at some more examples. So let's go back to the A, where two things happen at the same time. So while she listens to music, she studies. 
Very easy here. She listens to music and she studies at the same time. While you get dressed for work, think about your day. So this is the one we used with the car before. You don't think about your day until you get dressed for work. So when you begin to get dressed, you think about your day. Don't smoke while you're inside. So here is again, something you can't do when you're doing something. So while you're inside, don't smoke. Or you can change it, don't smoke while you're inside. Okay, let's move on to during. Okay. During. We use during when an event is happening, something is happening, and you are doing something at the same time. Okay, so something's going on and you are doing something at the same time. And after during, we put a noun. Okay, some kind of noun. And we can do this for all tenses, past, present, future. So during the movie, I fell asleep. Okay, so the movie is a noun. So during the movie means you're watching the movie, the movie is going, and you fell asleep. So the same time. During my first year of college, I met some good friends. So my first year of college is the noun, and then I met some good friends at that time. So we use during. And during the first part of the day, we go to meetings. So maybe at the office, uh, in the morning time, the first part of the day, you go to meetings at the same time. So this is during, and I think it's quite easy as well because it's during plus a noun, and you can, you can make that noun as complicated or simple as you want. Okay, here's some other examples. So during the night, it rained a lot. Okay, so same time, rained a lot at night. Our delivery business grew during the pandemic. So when the pandemic was happening, our business grew. We like to play football during the fall. So during the fall, we like to play football. You can say it that way. So again, at the same time, these things are happening. Let's move to as. So here, as it, we use as to show two events happening at the same time. Again, uh, the tense is past and present, no future. And also when you start something and then something happens, we can use it. Okay, so let's look at two events at the same time and then you start something and something happens. So first example, as I took a walk in the park, I notice a cat in the tree. So this is present tense, okay? Or I could say, as I take a walk in the park, I notice a cat in the tree, okay? So as, and then I'm doing something. So what am I doing? I'm taking a walk in the park and then something else happens, which is you notice a cat in the tree. Julie thinks about work as she drinks her coffee. So she's drinking her coffee and at the same time thinking about work. Okay, this is also present tense. As I was arriving at school, Jason was leaving. Okay, so past progressive tense. So I was coming to school and Jason was leaving at the same time. Okay. And here is, as I was arriving, is it's just starting, right? I'm, I'm something new is happening. I'm arriving at school. And, oh, he's leaving. More examples. As the day got later, the storm clouds rolled in. Okay, so now the day is getting later. Okay, it's getting later to the afternoon and to the evening, and the storm clouds rolled in. This is a pastime sentence. Past tense. The economy improved as more people started working. Again, past tense, okay? More people started working at the same time the economy improved. And here we're seeing that 
the as more more people started working is the beginning of something. Okay, it's just starting, and right away the economy improved. I remembered I didn't bring any money as I ordered a coffee. So perhaps you go to the coffee shop and you order a coffee and suddenly you remembered, ah, I don't have any money. So as you ordered the coffee, you're just starting in the beginning, you realize, ah, I didn't bring any money. So here is the example of as, okay? So again, as is when something is beginning, something happens at the same time or two things happen at the same time. Last one is just as, okay, a little bit different. So just as is two things happen at the same time. And after just as, we put a clause. And a clause is a subject and a predicate or a verb, okay? So just as, subject, verb. And the tense can be present, past, and future. The train arrived just as we got to the station, okay? so. Just as we got to the station at that time, the train arrived. Okay, so things happen at the same time. Now, what's the clause here? We got to the station. That's the clause. Okay, let's try another one. It started to rain just as we set up our picnic. So as this happened to you, you, you go, you're going to have a picnic, and just as you set it up, you finished it, boom it started to rain, okay? Ah, oh, it started to rain just as we set up our picnic. Just as we got home, my phone rang, okay? So I just got home, right? Just at that time, and the phone rings. Some more examples. The crowd cheered just as the runner finished. So when the runner finished at that time, the crowd cheered. Just as the music started, people started to dance. Okay, so the music starts and right away, people start to dance. The baby cried just as his mom put him to bed. So right when his mom puts him to bed at that time, the baby cried. The baby cried just as his mom put him to bed. And that is it. Okay, we have when, while, during, as, and just as. And they all talk about time, but they all mean something a little bit different. So learn what's different about them and then practice it and you'll get good at it with your conversation. Okay, so let me give you a quiz here to help you practice, all right? Um, what did you do during your morning today? So let's use morning. So what did you do during your morning? Okay, and your answer can be, during my morning, I, blah, 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 blah. And number two, while you eat lunch, what do you usually do? So here we'll practice while. So while is two things at the same time. While you eat lunch, what do you usually do? Share with me in the comment box, and I always answer you. So you can ask me, hey, is this correct or not? And I'll let you know, well done or I'll tell you the corrections, all right? So that's it for today, all right? How to talk about time with when, while, during, as, and just as. And while you are watching this video, I hope you learned something, okay? So I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.